name is Ian, pianist and conductor for this first exciting concert with the Vancouver Academy of Music Symphony Orchestra. And this was an excerpt of the Brahms' first piano concerto, right about seven or eight minutes into the first movement. And this is one of my favorite excerpts of music just because of it being so typically Brahms, as you can hear it moves in a very harmonic and chordal type of progression, but again with such a beautiful melodic top line that you can hear on that. And this is one of the more tender sides of Brahms that you hear in this, in this moment. The piece begins with a very fiery and powerful opening orchestral uh, intro, and that's because this concerto was actually Brahms's first attempt in writing a symphony, and he was so overwhelmed with the incredible results and power of the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven, which was the last great German symphony written in that time, that he became too overwhelmed and too scared to continue it as a symphony and converted it into a piano concerto but still maintains that massive symphonic piece. So I, I still consider it one of his symphonies with solo piano. This excerpt that I just played for you is a moment where the orchestra actually stops and the piano has a, a, a small solo moment before the orchestra comes in. And that melody you heard here is a very typical, that perfect fourth and perfect fifth interval typically played by the French horn, which was another instrument that Brahms loved so much. And that is exactly what you will hear played and echoed by the French horn throughout this movement as well. So you can really hear how there is a conversation amongst the instruments in this concerto, making it really a symphony more than a concerto in that matter. The second movement is in my opinion, one of the most beautiful second movements of all time. I remember a gentleman in New York often said to me every time I came to his place, Ian, could you please play the opening of that second movement? It makes me cry every time. And I understand why. It's, it's again, one of the really tender moments of Brahms that doesn't surface that often. Allow me to share that with you. This movement also begins with that very melody played by the strings in a very calm, dynamic quality. And when they finish their statement of this melody, the piano then reflects it as you just heard. The movement does unfold into some more intense and emotionally dramatic moments as well, because Brahms always shares that in his, in his writing. And then it proceeds into one of the most exciting rondos of a third movement. And in this case, he lets the piano begin the third movement. And after that is stated, the orchestra reflects that as well. And this is how the final movement begins. the perpetuousness and the driving rhythmic nature of this last movement and especially how it comes out of the second movement ending so peacefully and tranquilly and then just comes in with this incredible opening and then the orchestra immediately reflects what the piano has just stated both with winds and strings taking over. This again goes in that rondo fashion so you hear several different interludes uh, of his composition before it comes back to this opening statement and then translates itself into one of the most triumphant and exciting and happy, glorious finales that I have ever heard. So this is why I find this to be a complete and great symphony with solo piano. Thank you so much and I hope to see you at the concert either at the Kamik Center in West Vancouver or in downtown Vancouver's Orpheum Theatre. Thank you. <laughs>